In a world outside the pulsating realm of the IPL, a massive jolt has been dealt to world cricket after a sting operation by Doha-based media house Al Jazeera revealed incidents of blatantly admitted match-fixing in the subcontinent. In the last two years, at least three test matches featuring India have been fixed, claims the documentary. The India vs England test played in Chennai in December 2016, India vs Australia test in Ranchi in March 2017 and the Gaul test between India and Sri Lanka in July 2017 were all influenced by bookmakers, says the documentary titled Cricket's Match Fixers. In a footage shared with Hindustan Times, they revealed how a Mumbai-based former Indian first-class cricketer, an Indian advertisement executive based in the UAE and members of the D company used their connections in the cricket establishments and even in the ICC to manipulate the results of particular matches. In the eye of the storm are Pakistan's Hassan Raza and three Sri Lankan internationals Dilhara Lokuhetige, Jivantha Kalatunga and Sarindu Mendes. All of them reported to have had indulgence either in spot fixing or doctoring the pitch to force a result within a particular time frame. The sensational sting operation done by journalist David Harrison suggests how match fixers bribe curators, current and former cricketers to sway the outcome of sessions or an entire match in ways they deem profitable to themselves. In the few excerpts that have been revealed as of now, Anil Munawar, an element of the D company claims, and I quote, each script I will give you will happen, happen and happen, unquote. Moving on to the matter of getting high-profile international cricketers involved with an instant splurge of money, he said again, and I quote, if you have it, you will do anything, unquote. With David Harrison's investigations allegedly exposing the crux of the dark side of cricket, it is now the ICC's discretion or the lack of it that is eventually going to decide whether the sanctity of the gentleman's game is restored. Sports Desk, Northeast Live.